Welcome back to East Origin. I am once again Zarlin, and we're playing as Unica, and we're in Blighted Blood still. So, we're going to make our way through this area of Blighted Blood, and um. Basically, I'm going to try and kill these things, which, uh, they have heavy armor, and if you know anything about heavy armor, you should know that we should use our yellow ability, or the Leviathan Strike Hammer ability. So we could break their armor, and yeah, they're more susceptible to that damage. Here I'm testing other abilities to see how much damage they do, and as I suspected, nowhere near as uh, damaging as my yellow ability. Need that SP. Even using your uh, regular auto, uh, regular regular attacks aren't very effective against the uh, shrimp things. Yeah. Oops. Missed an ability there. Don't have much to say right now. It's kind of early in the morning, so I don't have much to say at all. But. With this. Kill this jerk. Maybe. right over the hole so all the stuff goes falling down. Great. But, uh, yeah. And then uh, I believe I fail a jump here. Yep. Right back into that hole. Wow. Just not... I was not good with the platforming here. But, you know. We have met this man, who is a man in black. Also known as Dalas. Or Dallas, or Dales, I don't freaking know. Ah. But he is the leader of the Darkling operation, so he tells Zava and Epona and Kishkol what to do. Oh, we have him surrounded, though. Yeah! What's up, Roy? And it's Ramona. Got him completely surrounded. Hey, where's, uh... Yellow Lady? Oh, yeah. Duh. I recorded this last night. And I forgot... About... Cecilia... Just coming in like that. Boom! And completely failing. Ha. Huh. So... Magic Wand of the Black Pearl cannot, you know, cannot damage people who have, yeah. So, because, uh, it, it doesn't really make that much sense, since there's, uh, we play as Hugo at one point, and he is literally using magic the entire time on demons. But I think that's just for this story, just because this story is not the 100% true story. Of course, neither is Unica's. I mean, neither is Hugo's. But, uh... Yeah. So... 
so, unfortunately, our reinforcements turn to stone. Uh-oh. But, uh, Dales isn't going to attack us. So, we're kind of in a good spot, except for now we have to go and find a way to fix this. And if you've noticed, uh, she always says Roy first when uh, concerned about the knights. Because uh, if you didn't get it yet, she has kind of this thing for Roy, and vice versa. Yeah. I fail at jumping again. Onwards and upwards. So, we move on to this area. Which we actually just ran past before. And I'm gonna run past most of it again. But not a whole lot. And... We go this way. I go this way. Yeah, there's these, uh, these jerk shrimp things again. I don't know what else to say besides their jerk, jerk shrimp things. Once again, use the Leviathan Strike Hammer, Warhammer, or get them to go into the blood water. I guess that's blood water. Because it hurts them a lot. A lot more than it hurts you. Even though they're stripped. I don't think really understand it. But, uh... There's a lot of these shrimp buggers here. And it's a lot harder than it was with Hugo, because... Of Hugo not having the mines. And, but, you know. For some reason, I couldn't jump out of there and I lost a lot of health for no reason. And. We opened that up. And that gets us. This! Acquired the Claria Ore. But yeah. So, onwards and upwards. Killing more of these mage guys. Freaking annoying because they teleport all over the place. Can't go up there. But what we can do is use the Dragon Bone Key and go through this door. And these annoying buggers, where I almost die because of being trapped in a corner. But no big deal. And. You can't see it right now, but if you go all the way over to the right there, you can see this platform. And when you see that platform, you can go over here. And when we come over here, there's a chest up there that we can get. It's not exactly a secret, but... Well, I guess you could say it's a secret, because you have to do some looking out of the normal in order to get to it. And now we have battle guards. So, it doesn't matter if you have your boots upgrade, your last boot upgrade or not, always get the new boots and equip them. 
They're always an upgrade. <laughs> the first time I ever played this game, I never even upgraded my boots because I never did anything with the store until about, uh, until about here, I believe. You know, until about the Light and Blood stage of the game. Made the game a bit harder. But, you know. I was still really upset, and I still am really upset that there's no, uh, no way of seeing that you have better armor on. I would love to see that. But, kill those guys. And now we go up here for a very special cutscene. Stop trying to screw with me. That's what a lot of girls say to me, but dumb tish. Anyways, it's Hugo and Toll. And uh, Hugo doesn't seem too uh, happy with Toll. Or the man with claws, if you didn't know his real name. And... We're not gonna fight him here. It's way too dangerous to fight him here, and he's way too strong for us. You see? Your feeling's a lot more powerful than I am. Don't leave, though, because we can go talk to Hugo. And we ask if he knows Toll, and if you watch my Hugo playthrough, he's obviously lying there. But he gives us the Black Pearl. Which... Uh, the, it's a mock-up, not the real thing. And, yeah. And we need it for this next bit. And I actually messed up here because I forgot what happens. But, I went to the tower base. And... Talk to... Well, I tempered my weapon with the Claria Aura I got this episode. But I did not talk to him. But, uh, I think I need to talk to the goddess next in order to know that he has a certain item that we need. But, we're gonna go back to Rado's Annex to go talk to the goddesses about our teammates being petrified. But first, I'm going to, if I can get the statue to activate, I'm going to upgrade my boots, and then next episode we'll talk to the goddesses. See you then.